Hey guys, even here with the old school abs, so let's just cut to the chase and start this video with Keon Pearson hitting a front double bicep. I mean, we've seen a couple of posts from Keon in the past couple of weeks. He's prepping to do a show, I think it's New York Pro, and he looks more and more impressive uh, day after day. And look at the size that he gained. I mean, this is really looking outstanding. This is a phenomenal front double bicep. I think he even improved his chest a little, which was his weakness, for sure, like a big time weakness. I'm curious to see how his chest is gonna look on stage, because chest, in most situations, especially in my example, as I'm leaner, as I'm getting leaner, I can see my chest looks better and bigger. And I'm sure that's the case with most people, hopefully with Keon as well. So, hopefully, if he gains some mass in that chest area, and I'm sure, I mean, this guy just grows, he grows like crazy. And if he puts an emphasis on something, I'm sure that body part will respond. In this case, I hope he really trained hard his chest. And when he gets lean, we'll see what is left. But it seems like he did improve his chest. It definitely does seem, especially in this pose right here. Because when you spread your arms like this, when you spread your chest, actually, it can, you know, be visible if, you, if you're lacking it. But here it looks pretty decent, right? So it seems like he did improve it. Let's not even talk about his retapered lats and, and those arms. That's just all on point. Uh, the amazing, amazing structure, amazing flow, amazing symmetry. Everything just spot on. And look at his back. Amazing back. Amazing back as well. He's got the back too. I mean, it, it grew. It grew. It definitely grew. So, I mean, I, I'm sure this guy is going to do really, really well in the future. Uh, could he win eventually the Mr. Olympia in 212? I can see that. I can see that easily. Why not? Why not? Not this year. No, not this year. Come on, Derek Lancerd, much better than him. Uh, I mean, Kian is great, but he's he just transferred to 212. He basically started using steroids the year after, the year before, <laughs> as he claims. So, I mean, it's unrealistic to expect him to win the Mr. Olympia this year, but to crack the top five, pretty realistic, top three, even maybe winning it in a couple of years, sure, I think it's a possibility. Okay, Hunter Labrada, he has won his pro debut and now he's prepping for Mr. Olympia. He took some time off, but now his prep officially started and he gained three pounds uh, since he started it. So maybe he's gonna be even bigger, even better version of himself at the Mr. Olympia. I mean, this is not how it usually goes, because when you're prepping for a show, you peak at that show, in the next show you're tired. I mean, the same thing happened with Brandon Curry winning the Iron Classic and then looking worse at the Mr. Olympia. Still, it was good enough, uh, good enough for him to, to win it. So maybe Hunter is not gonna win the Mr. Olympia, but he's gonna do well, just as well as he did at the Tampa, like beating one of the seasoned guys, it can happen. And you can see his diet in the end of the last slide, it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. It just goes to tell you that it's consistency and genetics that, that actually uh, makes you Hunter Labrada. Uh, he is eating regular meals, he has six meals in a day. Nothing magical about him, take a look at this. Six meals, that's all you need, and consistency, and genetics, and drugs, sure, but... What is the most important thing is just consistency. Like, you don't have to eat 12 meals a day. You don't have to find a magical drug because there is none. You can't find some kind of super extremely uh, knowledgeable coach that will give you a secret formula. It's all about consistency and Hunt Labrada proves it right here. This guy right here, Regan Grimes, is also proving it in a sense. Uh, I've been talking about him and his training style quite a few times before and I said that he doesn't lift very hard, very heavy, uh, but he definitely did that in this video. This is 150 pound dumbbell uh, behind the head tricep extension. This is heavy. And now I don't know how heavy this is for him. Will he reach failure? I don't think I ever saw him reach failure, but there is a first time for everything. Let's see. Let's see how many has he have. I don't think he has too many. All right, he already has an assistance. Okay, yep, that's failure. That's failure. You just witnessed history. Regan Grimes just reached failure. <laughs> he is a per perfect example of somebody who is consistent and who doesn't push the envelope too hard. Uh, well, in terms of training, you know. So he, he has been doing that volume type of stuff uh, throughout his co whole career. And he has also the right genetics. And he stayed consistent. He never... Uh, swayed off of his path and that's why he is where he is right now and I'm sure he's gonna be much higher 
in a couple of years, in five, ten years, he will be, if everything goes well, if nothing crazy happens, he's going to have that consistency and, and he will prevail eventually. And maybe Jay Cutler's uh, prediction will come true. He will become the Mr. Olympia. Here is his physique update at seven weeks out. And you can see right here that he's getting leaner and he has the roundness. And I'm sure he has made some progress since last time. And that's, that's all. That's all you need to do. Make a little progress every year. Be there. Show up every single day. Eat your meals. Train every day. And this is how these guys achieve great results. This is how the, these guys become legends. Best bodybuilders in the world. And I'm sure Egan will eventually be one of the top guys in the Open. I have no doubts, actually. Because he's a youngster. The old guys have to retire eventually. And the young guys need to take over. And the guys that are not destroying their bodies either with training or with drugs are the ones that are going to prevail and, and you know stay there and eventually reach the mountain top we haven't really seen much from Rolly Winkler lately he hasn't been really posting any kind of physique updates but here you can see his arms and you can see his body fat percent and um, you cannot really tell much but there is a bicep vein and he is pretty big and round so I'm sure he's going to start very soon, hitting it super hard and eventually get to the Mr. Olympia stage. And if everything goes well for him, and when I say everything goes well, I mean, when if he comes conditioned. Last year, he was really conditioned one week out, but something happened and he messed it up. If he showed up the way he was one week out, he would have probably won the show. So if he just repeats that and doesn't mess it up, he can win the Mr. Olympia. He can become the new Mr. Olympia champion. Would you guys like to see that? Do you think it's realistic? Tell me down below. Wow, we have a classic physique update from Logan Franklin, who is two weeks out. And here you can see, wow, what a classic physique. Almost perfection. I mean, I said almost because perfection doesn't exist, but this is pretty darn close. What should he improve? I don't know. Maybe just get a little bit more muscle maturity and come condition, but we'll see. He's two weeks out. He still needs to dehydrate and, you know, carb up. Uh, when he peaks perfectly, maybe that's going to be it. Maybe that's going to be a perfect classic physique. He has every single muscle. Back, chest, shoulders, arms, legs, calves, small waist, perfect symmetry, nice structure, uh, maturity, conditioning. Everything is just there. Symmetrical abs, good vacuum, a good rib cage, wide shoulders, everything, really, find, find a flaw, find a flaw and tell me about it, I don't think he has one. So in two weeks, if he leans out properly, he will dominate, whichever, whichever stage he does, and also he will do, I'm sure he, he will do amazingly well at the Mr. Olympia. I can predict him cracking the top three at the Mr. Olympia, yeah. Maybe he's not going to be the biggest guy up there. Maybe he's going to be dwarfed a little bit by uh, Chris Bumstead and Brion Ainsley. But yeah, I can see him taking that third spot. Don't you? This is not exactly a bodybuilding story, but it's muscle story, I guess. The Rock, The Rock, and he is known as a muscle guy. He has been involved with bodybuilding. He was promoter of Mr. Olympia one year. And he's uh, working with his uh, ex-wife, Danny Garcia, creating Atlanticon and so on. So he's involved in bodybuilding. And I don't know if you guys are fans of comic books, but uh, Rock is playing uh, the role of Black Adam. And I can't wait to watch this movie because I think this is, this is going to be a perfect role for Rock. I think he was born for this role. I think this is going to be perfect. I hope the movie is going to be good because they found the perfect actor for this role. And I really can't wait to watch it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of DC, but they have some pretty good movies. Some, of course, some pretty good characters. And Black Adam is one of them. And The Rock is probably gonna kill this role. I hope he will try his best. And I think he's perfect fit. Let's wait and see. I'm really excited about this one. And for the end of this video, I just wanted to pay tribute to Dallas McCarver, who passed away three years ago on this day. And I just want to say... As long as bodybuilding exists, he's gonna stay in our hearts and in that way he will remain immortal. He was one of the best in the game, he had so much potential. Unfortunately, his life ended very early on when he was 26 only. We can only imagine what kind of success this guy would have in the future if he uh, stayed alive. That would be just amazing. I'm sure he would be one of the top guys, maybe even won the Mr. Olympia being this big at 26 it's something that hasn't really been seen. This matured, this condition, and this big at that early age. Just amazing. 
unfortunately he's gone but he lives in our hearts forever so that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like it if you want to see more subscribe to this channel all the best guys and keep it old school